What's going on guys? It is me, the Lone Vault Wanderer, and I'm here with some even more Fallout 4 news for you. It seems that every day we're getting something new, and today's news article is actually quite official. I mean, it's a it's an interview which was conducted at a German award ceremony for video game developers, and Todd Howard, who was of course the game director and executive producer at Bethesda Game Studios, and who led the way, you know, in developing Fallout 3 and The Elder Scrolls, he was interviewed uh, by a PC German magazine at this award show and he was of course given an award I'm not sure what the uh, title of the award was for but he was interviewed and the interviewer asked some pretty pretty interesting questions and he's given some responses which I think that we can draw numerous numerous things from now I'm just gonna draw the relevant quotes and I'll put them up on the screen right now I just typed them up in word but they're pretty much word for word exactly what he said so the interviewer starts off by asking what about the next game you're working on Todd Howard responds we're working on something have been for a while so this obviously suggests like as I said uh, last year the Bethesda team said they were moving on to the next big project but obviously when they started working on the DLC for Skyrim usually what Bethesda does they'll have a pre-production team to work on the next game obviously as a, a huge bulk of the studio was still working on Skyrim because those DLC were pretty massive but once the bulk of Skyrim was completed presumably what happened is that a smaller team kind of split off and started uh, developing and planning for the next game hopefully that was for Fallout 4 so the fact that he said that they've been working on it for quite a while in my opinion I think they've been working on it for up to two years maybe even more but the safest bet is between one and two years this game has been in development so hopefully you know we might get an an announcement soon but then he goes on to say it's going to be a little while before we talk about it because we want to surprise everybody and uh, make that moment where we talk about it special for any everybody and we're still tinkering so he said this in the past as well and he's like you know we're not going to be talking about our next game for a while Pete Hines at Bethesda he kind of confirmed what Todd Howard said in a past video that I made to talk about those tweets about Pete Hines and he just said you know Todd Howard has mentioned this they're not going to be talking about their next game for a while so just stay patient now I got two theories about this he could be saying that so when they do announce the game you know in the next at a 3 for example it would catch everybody off guard because we're not expecting it or he actually is being genuine and saying look we're going to release it on our own terms it's not going to be anytime soon because we're wanting to take our time with this game so when we do announce it we're ready to you know show some gameplay give some hints about it so it's not you know just like a dodgy game and we're only announcing it because we feel like we've been forced by the fans so that's where I think Todd Howard is coming from in my personal opinion out of those two theories I think he is being quite genuine I think that if we're going to be looking for an announcement it's still going to be later in the year at the very least it will be early next year and then hopefully we'll get uh, the game actually released next year if I was to put a, uh, another safe bet on this perhaps we're going to get an announcement at next year's E3 and then like with Fallout 3 because in with Fallout 3 the game was announced at the Microsoft conference at E3 in 2008 and then the game was released in October of that year so maybe the same thing is going to happen here if if Fallout that is not going to be announced at this year's E3. Safest bet it will be announced at next year's E3 for an October release. That is a very, very safe bet because it's following precedent as to what Bethesda has done in the past. But we're not too sure. All that we know, it's going to take a little while. So let's just trust Todd on this. Let's just, you know, not just get too excited about all these leaks and rumors going around unless it's coming from an official source, which, like it is right now, it is. So another thing that people have pointed out in that particular quote that you can still see on the screen is the fact that he said, um, we want to surprise everybody and make that moment where we talk about it special for everybody now people are saying oh that special reference is a reference to the special system and the past fallout games and maybe he was just giving us a hint as to what the next game was going to be I think that's a bit of a stretch I think he's just said special and hasn't really given a thought like oh Fallout fans are going to pick out that that's referring to the special system in Fallout. I don't think he was thinking about it in the time. It was just an off-the-cuff one-liner. He was probably expecting a question like this from the interviewer, but I don't think he, you know, came prepared with an answer like that, that he said, all right, I'm going to mention special, so Fallout fans get the hint. I don't think, I, I just think that's a bit of a stretch, and I don't think that's what he was intending, but take that comment as you will. Now, the next uh, quote that he says is, but we are really excited about it. The stuff that we were able to do now on the PC and the next-gen systems and all that memory, 
We're very, very excited about the opportunity. So this suggests two things. One, that they fully intend to take opportunity of all of the hardware in the next gen systems and obviously of the upgraded PC systems that we have nowadays and also, you know, up, come, up and coming within the next year. It seems like they're going to go all out with this, take full advantage of the hardware and just make an incredible game, a huge world, fantastic graphics. And obviously it's going to be bug ridden like, you know, Bethesda games are, but obviously that's due to the fact that these are such huge games. But hopefully with this added hardware and this improved hard hardware, um, the bugs are going to be less, but knowing Bethesda, they're probably going to want to go all out and make worlds that were probably even bigger than Fallout 3, I reckon. I honestly think that Fallout 4's world is going to be at least as big, or if not, bigger than Fallout 3. And I think the next-gen hardware, or current-gen hardware, however you want to phrase it, is capable enough of, of succeeding in that respect. And the second thing that we can get from that is that he only mentions next-gen hardware. He doesn't talk about the 360 or the PS3 and obviously the Wii, but as I said in the past, this game is no way it's going to be released on the Wii but he, he doesn't really make reference to that now that could be implied that they're not even going to be touching uh, last gen systems and they're just going to be focusing on the Xbox One PS4 and PC and I've mentioned this in a past video I think first it'll hold them back in terms of trying to dumb down a game for a lower gen system and also it's just going to take away resources and manpower in terms of developing the game for the current gen systems I think that if you if we were going to get a Fallout 4 game on last gen systems, it's going to be a dumbed down game. You're not going to want to purchase it on those systems anyways. If you want to get full advantage of it, if they are released on all systems across the board, you're going to want to buy it on next gen on current gen systems in the form of the Xbox One or the PS4, or even better, get it on PC so you can start modding it and, and, and you know play things in beautiful HD and 1080p. Um, so those are the hints that I got from those quotes and then he says something I think this is probably the crux the most important thing of what he says He says in response to the interviewers question. So it's going to be great Todd Howard responds. We hope so we try to we're putting ourselves into it and each time we try to make a better game than we did last time So that's what we hope to do now. This is suggesting okay that the game they're working on right now We know that they're working on a game. He's just said that he hasn't said what game but whatever they're working on is something that they've done before listen to the quote a better game than we did last time now the only games that Bethesda game studios has worked on as far as my knowledge goes is Fallout 3 and I think the past two titles in the Elder Scrolls series so that would be Skyrim and that would be uh, Oblivion now I'm not too sure about that but at least at the very least Bethesda Game Studios has only worked on Fallout and, and the Elder Scrolls I don't believe that they've worked on any other title I, th I know Bethesda Softworks has made games in the past but now Bethesda Softworks is more of a publisher of Bethesda Game Studio games and, and, and if someone wants to google that for me but I'm pretty sure that's the case so knowing that they've only worked on Fallout and The Elder Scrolls in the past, and looking at what he said here, a better game than we did last time, suggests that whatever game that they're working on now, there are only two options, Elder Scrolls, Fallout. And they've just done Skyrim, so why would they go back to the world of Elder Scrolls when they've got a, an IP which is still a cash cow for them? I think, in my opinion, working on a game for that long and all of those DLCs, they're drained, they're a little bit sick of working on Elder Scrolls, they need something fresh, something new, something they haven't done in a while, and what haven't they worked on for six years? Fallout 3 right that's why I really think that Fallout 4 is going to be the next game that Bethesda work on so in my opinion I think what what he's trying to imply there or what we should imply from that comment is that they're working on the next Fallout game I mean if the, if those are the only two options if Fallout and Elder Scrolls are the only two options then I am 99.9% .9 sure that it's going to be Fallout and not Elder Scrolls if you're coming off a huge development with in, in terms of Skyrim you're not going to go back into it again. I mean, their creative juices need to settle down in that kind of world that Skyrim is, and things need to shift focus to something else. I mean, if they were to work on another Elder Scrolls game right now, there's going to be no... I don't think there's going to be any creativity. Their, their ideas are going to be all out. They need to recuperate over the next one to two years or three years or whatever and do something else in the meantime. And the only other game that they've worked on in the past is Fallout. 
and by saying that a better game than we did last time, the game I, I'm telling you right now, Fallout 4 is going to be the next game developed by Bethesda Game Studios. So that's just my personal opinion about everything guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. This has been the Lone Vault Wanderer, please take care of yourself and keep fighting the good fight.